I don't know if you guys remember, about a year ago, they announced that they're remaking The Little Mermaid. And Ariel is gonna be black. Did you know, you know we gonna have a black mermaid? A lot of white people got upset about that and protested The Little Mermaid. Did y'all know that? They were out there mad. Not my mermaid! Not my mermaid! I was like, calm down, a mermaid not even real, it's fictitious. I don't know about y'all, but I wanna see a black mermaid. Can you imagine the butt on that mermaid? <laughs> She'll turn Under the Sea into a twerk song. Under the Sea. <laughs> I know, I'll be at the table with my daughter. Give me two for the Little Mermaid, please. <laughs> he said, a black woman can't be a mermaid. Ain't that something? Now, if you say, had to say a black woman couldn't be a mermaid because she can't swim, now that is true. <laughs> Most black women can't swim. They got to change the song under the sea, uh-uh. You got to change that, it's gonna be above the sea now, uh-uh. I get my fin wet, I'm not gonna get my hair wet, though, I know that. The black woman's not getting her hair wet. Put my fin in the water, I'm good, baby. <laughs> I wanna see a black mermaid. But that, but now, so you see, a lot of white people know how black people feel, because a lot of white people said that Tarzan was white. Sir, you know Tarzan was not white. A white man raised in the African jungle with gorillas. How many white men you know like that? Tarzan was black. He said his girlfriend's name was Jane. Her name was Jane Nisha. She had a beauty salon in the jungle. I'm glad it was a little mermaid. Could you imagine they had to make Batman black? Y'all y'all love Batman. I know you got a Batman poster hanging up in your, in your house. Look, you're like, yes, I do. <laughs> you're right, I do. <laughs> Could you imagine they had a big Batman black? Could you imagine they had, they had to turn Bruce Wayne into Lil Wayne? Could you imagine? <laughs> you be out there protesting, not my Batman! Not my Batman! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm enjoying this though, man. I was talking about our president, man. Yeah, we just we just got a new president, Joe Biden. I don't know if you guys for Biden or not, but I know one thing, they're gonna have to drag Trump out of that office. <laughs> right by his hair, he's gonna have his burn out. <laughs> you gotta drag him out. Trump need to do something about that hair though, man. Yeah, we gotta tell him, he gotta do something about that. He gotta, Trump need to go to a beauty shop and let a black woman do his hair. <laughs> Sit him under the dryer, do his edges. He'll come, out, he'll come out of that beauty shop looking like Al Sharp, do he? <laughs> like the president is luxurious, look at him. <laughs> Al Sharpton need to leave those perms alone. I used to watch a lot of uh, Al Sharpton on TV and on the internet. They have a, a compilation of Al Sharpton on the internet, it's hilarious. It, uh, show him misspelling words and just saying some just random stuff that don't have nothing to do with nothing. <laughs> It's hilarious. Did you guys see he actually misspelled the word respect on national TV? Did y'all see that? Like, how do you misspell the word respect? Thanks to Aretha Franklin, we misspelled the respect for 45 years. And he got on TV with all the confidence in the world, too. Like my late great friend Aretha Franklin would say, show some R-E-S-P-I-C-T. I was at home, like, wait, is there an I 